JAMA Network. Mary Hacken Phillips knows how dangerous a blood clot can be. A good friend of hers, just 23 years old, died from a blood clot. It was scary to believe that someone who could be so healthy could have an issue with blood clot and die from that. Typically we don't look for these unless there are signs and symptoms. And that's sort of the crux of the problem. Some hospitals tend to look more for these blood clots than others. Dr. Carl Billamoria from the Feinberg School of Medicine at Northwestern University and co-authors examined national and Medicare claims data from more than 2,000 hospitals. Researchers compiled information on how often hospitals look for blood clots after surgery and how many blood clots they found. The results showed that better institutions tended to do worse on this measure because they looked harder for blood clots and often found them. They were some of the largest hospitals, some of the most impressive institutions in the country. And when you looked on public reporting websites, they had some of the worst rankings for blood clots after surgery. The rankings are on public websites like this. Hospitals use the information to help improve quality. Patients can use the site to decide on the best hospital for their surgery, and the government will now be relying on these rankings too. They'll be reimbursing hospitals based on their performance on this blood clots after surgery measure. This study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Researchers also looked at how often hospitals ordered imaging tests like an ultrasound, which can help detect blood clots in the leg, and CT scans, which locate blood clots in the lungs. There are clearly differences in how often hospitals look for blood clots after surgery, and that's really what affects their quality rankings. And so we're unfairly penalizing hospitals for looking more often, which is what we want them to do. Dr. Bill Moria says this particular measure may not be a useful tool for patients looking to choose a hospital for surgery. And it's not a good measure for hospitals to try to improve quality internally because a poor performance may actually be indicative of higher quality. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.